Hi everyone, this is Isabel, the Shabby Hippie. I hope everyone's doing okay. Uh, I hope you all had a beautiful Valentine's Day yesterday. Um, I am here today to share this journal, uh, well, mini album slash journal um, that I made as a design team project for Sweet Pea Curiosities. Um, it is long overdue because as long as some of you may know, um, I have been sick and uh, then with, there was Christmas and I fell and I was already late with another design team project for um, for one of the other groups that I'm in. So yes, so thank you so much uh, Marissa at Sweet Pea Curiosities for being so patient with me, especially since this is my very first project for you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> So, yes, I don't want to make this uh, too long, uh, but I do want to let you know that she is on Etsy, uh, she has an Instagram account, and she is Sweet Pea Curiosities. All of the links will be uh, in the description area below this video. Um, I have only used uh, papers from her shop and then just stuff from my stash. Um, yeah, so I think that's about it. So, uh, let me tell you a little bit about the journal or the album. Um, I wanted to make it look like a real book, like a reading book, so, so to speak. Um, so what I did was, well, first of all, let me show you. Okay. I tried to make it look like the pages were coming out from actual book pages. So I don't know if you can see that there. Um, that's what I tried to do, but you'll get to see more as as we go through it. But yeah, let me tell you a little bit about the cover. Um, okay, so it the back is uh, red cardstock, and then I use this um, crochet fabric. I use this beautiful ruffled tool. It's a very soft tool. Um, and then I use some crochet lace. Um, this is vintage um, lace, which I also coffee dyed because even though it was vintage, it wasn't as dark as I wanted it to be, so I coffee dyed it. Um, then there's a, another little bit of um, fabric here. There is this uh, applique which I adorned with these really pretty roses um, I put this little uh, braided trim around the gorgeous image from Sweet Pea Curiosities and it's called it comes from the Valentine papers in her shop and then so this trim is uh, it's braided and it also has some tiny little sequins I don't know if you can pick up on that as I move the book. Um, and then this is a piece of a doily that I had coffee dyed as well. And then these, of course, all of the flowers are from my stash. Okay. And then of course you guys know me by now, you know, it wouldn't be me if I don't do some type of a shaker somewhere. <laughs> so I made, I made this, the spine into a shaker as you can all see. Okay. And then the, it's, I still did the, um, I tore some book pages, or a book page, and then distressed it with the ink, and I did the same thing with the uh, paper here, which is from um, Marissa's shop, and that comes from the kit collage, um, what's it called? Collage Junk Journal Kit, okay, and which is the same as this one. So here I just... Um, I layered uh, some brown cardstock, some ripped book page, and then I ripped the paper here, and then I distressed the edges. And then this is, oops, this is what the um, the side looks like. Oh gosh, I'm a mess here. That's what the side looks like. Okay, and then now let's get into the book. So. Um, so this is what I was talking about. I 
layered the whole inside cover with book page as you can see here because I really really wanted this to look like the pages are just coming out of an actual book so I hope I accomplished what I wanted to I mean I I feel that I did um, I'm really liking this I loved making this book and I loved working with all of these papers um, so in the front cover here um, I made this little waterfall um, for pictures okay so this is from the Valentine's paper kit um, which I tore and inked and then I did the same with the book page behind and then I don't know if you can see this here let me bring it up a little bit um, it says then they kissed um, that actually came from the book pages that I was tearing for this book and the funny thing is this wasn't even like a novel or anything like that it was just a basic book and um, I'm like oh my gosh this is neat so I had I just had to use it in this book so I I felt that that was the most appropriate place so here you have the uh, the waterfall for your pictures and then this is the back of this came from it is from her but I can't remember which kit it came from so I'm sorry but all of the kits will be linked below um, I'll, I'll do that later okay so I used five different kits um, from her shop from Sweet Pea Curiosity uh, to do this book uh, this is also from the Valentine papers which was the same as this and the front image um, and then again more book tearing more uh, inking and then we have this here this flap um, this here is from her pink ephemera kit in her store and then this is from the collage junk journal kit um, this pocket that I made here is also from her pink ephemera uh, and so is this and this okay this I just um, backed with some lace and then this is a little ticket from her pink ephemera that I thought you could use as a little tiny journaling spot and I just put it there yeah so that you can uh, take it and out as you please okay now uh, this is coffee dyed paper which I've torn inked and stamped um, this is some washi tape this is a, um, a rubber or acrylic or not acrylic uh, some type of stamp that I have uh, which I stamped with red ink and then uh, aged it with the ink this is some ribbon that I have this is a little piece of doily this red up here not sure if you can see that right and then of course I use this beautiful uh, pink lace uh, with the flat back pearls okay and then here we have this gorgeous image oh my gosh I am in love with this image and that's the same one that I used in the front now this here is from her Valentine papers collage so it's two different two different um, this is Valentine papers and this is Valentine papers collage so what I did here is a, I tore it to make this pocket um, I inked it with the ink to make it look a little older and then I added this really pretty pink um, trim that I have so and then I made a tab up here with some brown um, lace some of the uh, lace that was in the front here this one and then this really pretty um, applique with the rhinestones or not rhinestones sequence okay oh and then this is some washi tape and then of course I, this is um, coffee dyed paper that I stamped on and then this is from Sweet Pea Curiosity's pink ephemera pack so that goes there oops and then this um, this is from the Valentine's papers this is from the pink ephemera and then I just made basically I just made a like a little snippet 
collage here. Um, I added th these little heart trim. Um, it's a little heart. What, what do you call that? Like a, almost like a crochet trim that I have. Um, and then there's this other crochet trim that I have around there, and I forgot to mention that I have it around here too. And then, <clears throat> sorry. Um, then I added these uh, flat back curls. I added that cute little rhinestone heart there. And then you can remove this. It is on a uh, gold safety pin. Okay, and then on this page, this I made all with um, envelopes, with red envelopes. And I made them, made them into pockets in the front here. This is from the collage junk journal kit coffee dyed paper with stamping. I made this paper heart with some eyelash trim and another one of my stamps that I stamped with in red. I sewed around twice on this heart. And then this is also from Sweet Pea Curiosities from another one of her kits. It's called 84 Vintage Letters Kit. Um, it's actually two pieces in the kit. Um, it doesn't come like this, so you have the front and then you have the back, so I just kind of uh, made it into an envelope. This, I'm not sure which one this came from, but it is from Sweet Pea Curiosities, and um, I just added added some glossy accents to make it look like, a, um, like an actual seal. Um, this is a letter from that same 84 Vintage Letters kit that I... Um, tore and distressed and just made it look a little older and that just goes in here and this tucks here and then this goes there oh and then this was one of um, the tags from the collage junk journal kit and so what I did was I cut off the top which is this part here and I added it here as a tab Okay, so that's what I did there, and then that just talks in this pocket here, right there. Um, th these are from her Valentine Papers collage, so it's different than the Valentine Papers. Uh, again, everything will be listed in the store. I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> in the description, sorry. Oh gosh, I'm going cuckoo, cuckoo. All right, so that goes there. This is the center of the book. Um, I hope you can see it okay. And then, so, let's see here. This is an image from the Valentine Papers. Um, coffee dye paper, torn, stamped, uh, and inked. And then we have a, a real crochet doily here with some eyelash trim and a puffy heart. It's a fabric heart. And then when you open this up, we have, this is from the Valentine Papers, and this is from the Valentine Papers collage. Then we tuck this back in here. Um, this is some of that fabric that I put on the front cover. And um, I added this felt heart that I had in my stash. And the heart actually had a little rhinestone, but I took off the rhinestone and added that little metallic heart there. Um, this is one of my stamps that I stamped in red and then just added there. This is an old um, Valentine's card. Um, I have a few of these that I had bought once. I'm not sure if it was a thrift store or a yard sale or something, but it is old. It's not vintage, but it's old. You can tell pretty much by um, the envelope. Um, but it's, it's, I know it's not that old, but it, it's fairly old. So this is more coffee dyed paper with stamping and tearing. And these two are also from the Valentine Papers collage. I love this little puppy. So yeah, he had to go in there. All right, so that goes there. Um, and on here, we have this gorgeous um, applique. Um, these papers and the ones in the back are from her collage junk journal K 
kit. <laughs> and then this is from the Valentine papers and more coffee dyed paper. So, and I have distressed all of, I don't know, there you can see better there, probably. Uh, I've torn all of the, the pages. Oh, and then there's this gorgeous tag. I so love this tag. Um, so that just goes up here. And then here, um, we have more pages from her uh, collage junk journal kit. And uh, we this is an actual pocket from the kit. Um, but it wasn't this way. I cut it up to use it like this, but that's not how it comes in the, in the, um, in the kit. Okay, so then in here I did add one of the tags from the kit and then another tag from the kit, which is a replica pretty much of this one up here. Um, and then this beautiful uh, image is from her pink collage. And then so we have that there and then I added this uh, pink trim. And then here uh, we have the beautiful image of the angel. So see, as uh, what I was trying to tell you before was all of the pages are coming out of book pages, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> so, and then another image from her Valentine papers. And then this is from her collage junk journal kit. And... Ay, ay, ay. And then this is uh, from the same kit as well. And then this is this is meant to be a belly band. However, I just put it off to the side because I didn't want to hide the bird. I think it's so pretty and the, and the rose and everything. So pretty, so pretty. I love all of these papers. It was so much fun working with all of these papers. Uh, this is from her pink uh, ephemera kit. That goes in the back. And this is, of course, uh, from the um, collage kit. And there. And then here, this is a, um, what is this? A bag. <laughs> a bag that I avocado dyed. And then I added some of Tim Holtz's um, tissue paper. I collaged some of that on top. Then I added some lace, some doily, and this little um, crepe paper rosette that I made. And then this little charm thing. And then in here, I put in one of the postcards from the collage junk journal kit. Okay, that goes there. Oh, and then this flips, whoops, flips up. Okay, and we have those there, and then we have this other pink lace and more flat back pearls. Okay, and then we come to the back of the book. So here we have, um, well, let me take this out first. Uh, this is a tiny journal. It's mostly bare uh, that I made because there is not a lot of journaling space in this book. So I made this journal and this comes from her Valentine papers. Uh, and then um, this is the only paper that is not from her, her kit. This was just in my stash. So I backed, I backed these papers with those papers. I just thought it went really nice. Um, this is from her pink ephemera. Um, this is a strip of mm, scrap that was left over from the collage junk journal kit. Uh, I did stamp, tear, and uh, ink all of these papers. And then this is a piece of fabric that I have, and I added this little crochet trim up there, and this is from her collage kit, and then it's just a little flip so that you can write your own little private little love note there or something. Um, some crochet trim. Um, this is 
from her collage junk journal kit. And that just tucks in there. This is coffee dyed lace. Um, just more inked up pages. Uh, this is from the collage junk journal kit and then this is from the Valentine Papers collage. Okay, and more um, trim. Uh, this is a little collage that I made of, uh, with some washi tape. So this one is fabric tape. This one is just regular uh, washi tape. And then another one of my stamps that I stamped with red and then uh, inked around it. And then this is um, one of the pup one of those puppies that I uh, fussy cut out from the uh, Valentine Papers collage. Okay, and then here, there, and then a journaling card with a pocket. Uh, and there we go. Oh, and then there is more crochet trim, and then this is the back. So, and then uh, the back cover, what I did was I added some of the brown cardstock, some book torn book page inked as well and then I also tore a piece of this pink ledger which comes from Sweet Pea Curiosity's uh, pink ephemera sorry <laughs> and then this is some washi tape up here and then this is some of the fabric that's on the front cover and then some more pink lacy fabric on the front then there's some eyelash trim here don't know if you can see it and this gorgeous um, applique and that is my book so I hope you all like it um, I hope Marissa likes it as well and um, yeah um, thank you for watching um, don't forget to hit the like button if you liked it um, please comment and uh, if you're new here please um, consider subscribing if you like the content um, and what else can I say oh and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can get notified when I do new videos and thank you all for watching uh, thank you Marissa once again for your um, for your enormous patience and that is it so uh, I will be talking to you all soon take care and God bless you all bye bye